Welcome to Nerd Social Hour in Texas, where we like to geek out on all things pop culture. I'm Justin, and welcome to a very special episode. Today is going to mark the close of our second season. We've added some new faces, did a lot. There's been a lot that are going that's going on here. Don't worry, though. We're going to be back February 1st with all new content and hopefully a lot more to bring you. But for now, enjoy. <laughs> I'm Justin, uh, and but I'm not here alone. I messed that up. But that's okay because it's season finale. You're allowed to do things like yeah. that. Do whatever you want. Yeah. <laughs> do the um, fuck but you I'm want. not alone. Yeah, I'm, I'm of course. So, yeah. I'm, I'm here with all of my friends. I'm all uh, my hair. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Perkins. I'm Alex. <laughs> Ready to jingle your bells since <laughs> baby is. I was like, what is that ringing in my ear? I hear like jingling. Yeah, I, I thought it was his I nips. Just found so out I was like, I well. This, so. <laughs> also, it's your boy I'm Danny. I'm back. Well, guys, um, after that horatious, horrendous, <laughs> whatever word, juxtaposition, I swear to God, I still hate that fucking word. But 2022 is almost done. There's been a lot that's gone on. And, uh, we were talking a lot about it. We were trying to like pin down our, our top moment, you know, top five. So what I really think that we'd like to do is kind of go around and I'll start because admittedly, I'm really excited about yeah. this. My top five is great for this year. All right, we'll see. Um, so I got to pull out my handy dandy notebook. Uh, for me, my number one is obviously going to be Ninja Turtle related. Oh, you're starting number one first. Whoa. I'm just going to go straight down my list. Okay. Man. Number right. one. I don't one, even have one, mine in order. One. of. Like, mine's not necessarily in order. Just know five. I I love all of them equally, yeah. unlike my children. Yeah. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Shots fired. You only have one, so that's nice. What? What? Uh, Holy <laughs> shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> That's about but, Oliver. I forgot about Oliver. Yeah, yeah Oliver. <laughs> Damn. Uh, He's a baby. One of, one of my favorites, honestly, is, is Ninja Turtles. This year was a big year for Ninja Turtles. Last Ronin finished. Um, if you were a child of the 90s, you watched the really bad live action cartoon or not cartoon the live action show they had it was a crossover with power rangers mm -hmm. they introduced a fifth turtle her name was venus she got an introduction in the comic books for the first time ever i got to meet judith hogue who played april in the first movie she also that was in this Halloween year? town wow. yeah that was this year that's really cool and um wow, no i got a, i got that's my last row in a comic sign there was just so much that happened with ninja turtles this year for me ghost energy drink had their yeah. turtle line i had a, oh, you, yeah, that's had a right. yeah got to there's shake a her. turtle beer he's actually looking yeah, for right there now is a ninja i guess it's like texas made find. we can't find it anywhere Wait, here? You said Ninja Turtle beer. The yeah. beer company Martin made with Brewery real House? turtles. Yeah, it's 100% yeah. turtle. Real turtles. turtles. <laughs> Shredder approved. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's a joke, right? What no. the? Yeah, it's I hope so. <laughs> I was like, it's um, actually supposed to be like a caramel something. It's made out of pizza. How far will you guys go? Oh, like turtle, uh, like <laughs> turtle. Yeah. Like the. But dessert. it's. But yeah, whatever. Ninja it's Turtle on the can, so yeah, I want it because yeah, yeah. I'm a child. Um, <laughs> my next one isn't going to be all Black Panther, but Black Panther is a big part of it. Marvel, I think, has had a really big year. Mm -hmm. uh, people have been kind of up and down on the direction, what they're doing. I've loved it. She Hulk, Miss Marvel, that that guitar riff at the end of it, introducing the X Men and the fact that they can't stop saying the word mm -hmm. mutant. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's so it's exciting. Comic books have been great. They've released the direction that they're going for for their new uh, saga. It's just Marvel's Marvel's back, and whether or not you agree with what they're doing, it's not going anywhere. Hell yeah. um, I think it's just getting started. Yeah, I really oh, yeah. do. Like, I think it's going to get like there's so a good amount big. out on phase four, but I think it's like this phase and this saga kind of like, is just yeah, getting started. Yeah, I just always think about like the behind the scenes like they have so many creative i want to be in that team that's like this is what we're doing for five years there's one person yeah. that knows it all and he's like oh i can't fucking wait living yeah. yeah. living their best yeah. life you Man. ever see a guy walking down the street that's just like <laughs> just I know that like he's him. working they at had marvel to take in this person and like put them like in a, a they have their own location. they have their own yeah. island like, they're not like, allowed the to leave nowhere. like they're stuck yeah. there until yeah. everything comes out have you guys heard of area 51 <laughs> that's where they are that's, that's <laughs> where they're at they just filmed the moon landing and now they're filming the marvel movies there. <laughs> <laughs> number three for me would be a bucket list thing it's pretty personal it's seeing incubus live that was oh, yeah. awesome uh, it, who's incubus you shut your dirty <laughs> mouth it's pronouncing code yeah, oh, that's, that's what it is. Yeah. Um, but that, that show was great. It's the longest concert I've ever been to. It was like 23 songs set. It I thought you were going to say 23 hours. Yeah, 23 <laughs> hours. I was like, God damn. Um, and Coheed released a new album, which was awesome. That album is great. And that's definitely like 
top of one of the things I love most. Yeah. Oh, um, did you mention that your name is in the book? Oh, my name is in a book that I bought. I pre-ordered a Coheed, like their album. And yeah. It came with like a book that's like a list of fans in it. So I am forever ingrained in Coheed Cambria. Like, I just think it's really fandom. cool they did something like yeah, that. Yeah, that's awesome. Dope. Yeah, that's sick. Um, I'm debating on how I want to do the last two. I think the last, I'm, I'm going to do this one. And this one's a little sad, but okay. Uh, there were a lot of deaths that we experienced this year, but for me, the biggest one was Kevin Conroy. Oh, man. Uh, Batman, the voice, iconic voice of Batman is Dude, gone. he was Batman for almost 30 yeah. years. Yeah. 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 It, it, I was trying to think of, like, how to round out my list, and it was the bottom of it, but it uh, it hit. Like, it was it was yeah. a really... Jeez, man. Like, I mean, if, if you like the culture, you know, you're all... You know that Kevin Conroy, when you hear Batman, you hear his voice. Yeah. There's not, like... I think that day, I just wanted to, like curl up and watch bruce tim like old animated right? series with batman just it's sad knowing there's never going to be another thing that comes yeah. out with his voice on it that, that breaks my heart yeah because he is the voice when you think of like the animated series or any of them even if it wasn't like because i know later on they had movies and stuff but no. like when you think of a cartoon version of batman you're hearing his voice mm -hmm. of course and he kind of i feel like he kind of set the set the expectation for like the voice of batman like you yeah, know yeah it just it, that's kind of yeah. like with mark hamill and joker you yeah, know? Like, yeah exactly those two together are just so iconic that you yeah you think of joker's voice you think of that I think that animated series did a lot for voice actors in terms mm -hmm. of like you hear them as those characters. Like no iteration of Harley Quinn, no matter how much I like, it's ever going to be Harley Quinn from the animated series. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I feel that same way with Batman. So it was, it was heartbreaking when we found out that he'd passed away. And this was as of our recording days ago. Yeah, yeah. so that it was yeah. really big news. Still pretty. I do want to acknowledge like it is really really sad that yeah. we won't have anything else no. with his voice in it. But it's really cool to think about what he's created oh, in his lifetime. Like, yeah. He has so much that we're able to revisit. He's never going away. Exactly. No matter like, he, he has yeah. left him. He's mark. one of those people when you hear the expressions legends never die, yeah. like his voice is gonna live on in those those series, those games, like everything, you know, like yeah. it's pretty awesome. Yeah, it's like a kind of similar but not James Earl Jones and Darth Vader. Yeah. He's one of the mm -hmm. first people to like release copyright for his voice. Mm -hmm. Right. So wow. they're they're like creating it artificially just so it can always be used as darth vader yeah I just That's pretty dope. every single time i think of his voice i just hear him saying oracle yeah. <laughs> oh, every time i think of james Earl jones i think of sandlot even though just same yeah That's yeah That's but and my last one is sandlot? honestly yeah he was the old man He's that lives next door with the dog with the dog oh, that owned what the, the hell dog. <laughs> Hey, Whoa. you want to talk about baseball <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I that is yeah, okay james that blew my mind jones. okay uh, my last one is probably my most exciting, honestly, and it is the most childish thing in the world. And it's after 25 years, Ash Ketchum became the Pokemon Grandmaster. Yeah. 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 Talk about like iconic moments in pop culture history. I've been watching Pokemon or playing Pokemon since I was 10 or 11. I was going to say, so I was like, about eight. Yeah, like 22 years Prove of it. Pokemon. Yeah. And now I have my old games. I have, One of them still has the old save file. The my son, he hears the dun dun on Netflix and Pika. Pika? Like it's, <laughs> Pokemon is, is super, super relevant in my house. And yeah. 25 years and then they finally like gave their main character the biggest W he could have asked for. Yeah. I actually, I think for anybody who is like interested in like watching that or seeing it, um, I think he said it's released. In it's only in Japan, Japan right now, but, right we have now, but it hasn't it. made it here yet. I watched it last watch night. It you can find it online. Animation on it was mm. super amazing. Yeah, I guess Pikachu it's had like, like a, a whole like Super Saiyan Goku moment. It yeah, was so cool. cool. And for me, the the two Pokemon that fought at the very end were Charizard and Pikachu, mm -hmm. yeah. which are arguably some of the most popular like Pokemon of all time. Yeah. I was gonna say that's pretty yeah. Yeah. Uh, pretty yeah. iconic yeah. fight. Mm -hmm. Didn't he fight a uh, Charizard early in the mm -hmm. series? Yep. Yeah, and, uh, I remember that. That's weird. It, it was <laughs> poor just, memory. It was just it was massive. Like yeah. that made me think about like anime too and Gohan with the Dragon Ball Super movie. Oh, he finally got man, his retribution, Gohan. and so yeah. Did for... you see the the picture of like people in like the Tokyo Times Square or whatever that'd be watching it? Yeah, on, their giant on like yeah. the jumbotron. They, yeah, like in the so street. Cool. Pokemon moment was played everywhere. When I tell you guys, like it. No, a lot of people like Crystal included for a minute was like didn't think about the fact that it is anime, mm -hmm. but it is. But it's so it's was a... that my first anime? <laughs> it's so second nature <laughs> to up. most people now that I was you don't think about it. Yeah. You either quoted Pokemon or said something about Pokemon, played a Pokemon game in some aspect. There are people that I've met that are you know. 50s, 60s playing Pokemon Go that never really cared until that game came out. So yeah. it, 
to, to exclude it from my like list of like top moments this year, honestly, I think it was probably my favorite. Like, and again, that just happened, but I feel like it's going to have that big of an impact on Pokemon going forward. Like Ash Ketchum has even been rumored to not be in it going forward. Oh, damn. Well, so, like he's old, it. old, man. <laughs> he's like, <laughs> he's, he's still 10 guys. Calm he's down. like, I can he's age now. He's immortal. He's like a God <laughs> playing free. Pokemon. Like, 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 there are so many like, Fan theories is like he, he's actually in a coma. He like yeah. slipped into oh. a coma Dark. on his way to go oh, wow. to his very first Pokemon meeting. <laughs> yeah, and this is all just in his head. Those kind of theories Jesus. fuck me yeah. up. Yeah, that's, that's fucking intense. No. But yeah. that Something's is going on. He's like yeah, right. Twenty five technically. Those, he's those... still a kid. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he's not twenty five. He has to be though, like had, he has to be in his thirties. It had uh, cameos though. Like it showed clips of it, and I, I haven't watched the full episode, but you see like. Brock watching from his stadium and Misty watching from her stadium. So uh, it, it oh, came full circle real? and showed like wow. everybody. This new series that's on Netflix that's is cool. cool. It it tells you like it goes back in history. Like, oh, we didn't know that you won this Pokemon. I was like, yeah, I did that a long time ago. But again, he's still 10. So like how long is a long time ago? Yeah, like, Brock got a girlfriend. Month? Yeah, Brock finally <laughs> yeah, they, got him a girl. What? Oh yeah, you watch they, the show, you know that Brock man in. was down Bad. Yeah. God. I would say they bring Brock in and they have him like working like as he's like a doctor, a doctor. Yeah. and he's like oh yeah he's like I've known him from like you know like back in the day we used to like travel together but yeah. I even told him I was like that how does that work? Like, how are they adding this up? Cause how is he still the same age? But now all these other kids are now like new and they're joining. It's and so cool though, because they bring weird, back everything like evolutions also- that were awesome. It, it's so much fun. So yeah, that's, that's so, mine. So did you guys ever play it on game boy? Yup. Yeah. Do you remember like how, Fucking strong your Pokemon will get you after you beat everyone, starter, and you got like all the way to level like a hundred, and you would just like <laughs> yeah. Pikachu look at Rattata, and it would just like die because you're so fucking strong. <laughs> it, well, like uh, that has to be Pikachu at like when he's fighting Charizard, well, he's I mean, like level Pikachu's, one that like yeah. one thousand. Well, and he has a move but that's Charizard called hundred thousand volt electricity. Yeah, like, it's it's insane. This Pikachu is like running on walls and like. <laughs> Whipping people with his tail. Yeah. He has no business being this strong. That's what I'm saying. It's like that Pikachu has been around. Yeah. Like he's that Pikachu seen, has seen all some the games. shit. Yeah. All the games. This Pikachu is so it's determined. Like, he hasn't even fucking evolved. Like, <laughs> like, yeah, like, I don't even need to evolve to beat your ass. <laughs> that, that, that's mine, man. It's okay, you know, a lot of it was personal this year. There were some things that really kind of punched me back in my, you know, my, my nostalgic heart. X Men coming back. <laughs> Pikachu yeah. being relevant. In Pokemon. Yeah. You know, voices from my past being gone, music from my past. It was a lot of nostalgia for me. And I actually just kind of realized that I guess 2022 is that year for me where it all came back in full circle. Yeah. But that's mine. Um, Perkins, I see your list up. What you got for me, man? Oh, for mine, I'm obviously going to go into anime for most of it. Yeah. But for good things, since we're talking about good things that happened this year in my mind, uh, made it to nationals with, you know, the bodybuilding thing. Yeah. That was yeah. a big, yeah. big deal for yeah. me. Been one of that. And so Jane. Yeah, she yeah. did too. Yeah, we yeah. both Killed made it. It, it was good. Gained it was awesome. Couple. Went against really big people and, you know, came out on top, luckily. That was a really good moment. We were working really hard for it. Because yeah. last year we tried, you know, actually it was a couple of years ago, you know, and it takes a lot of money. It takes a lot of fucking time. A lot, a lot of chicken. So <laughs> much chicken. So many dead chickens. Oh, God. <laughs> How many chickens died so you can get all these games? Too many. <laughs> Too many. And their <laughs> offspring. You committed chicken genocide for the game. Perkins was the reason for the chicken wing shortage. <laughs> yeah. And the egg shortage. You realize the price of the eggs, eggs is doubled yeah, for his game? Like Fucking $10. Protein. Yeah. Yeah. It was something real good for us. Like We were really happy about it. We were able to put that on the back burner now because the next good thing is the fact that we're finally... After so many years and after the COVID shit, we're going to Korea Heck yeah. nice. in yes. December. That's you know, our family awesome. doesn't even know. Oh, Luckily, you know, you know, do they, they watch this show? They do not. Okay. <laughs> they, they, they don't know. They don't even know alert. about this. They're over there doing their own thing. Otherwise, yeah. Sojin would beat my ass right now. <laughs> you spoiled it. But, you know, they don't know we're going. The best part of it, they're going to show up and they'll be like, guys, we're busy this week. We have no. <laughs> yeah. you know, we have we have one person over there in cahoots with us. Yeah, got, got one on the inside. It's going to make it like we plan on going to like some type of restaurant there. They're going to be like, hey, my company give us this free blah, blah, blah. Because over there you can get free meals from your company. They're going to go there, and then we're going to walk in like, hello there. Oh, so yeah. Jen's going to bust out crying. I already I know. know. I can't oh, wait for so the Facebook funny. Live on this. We were talking about that the other day. I was like, 
you're gonna cry. She's like, I hope I don't cry too much. I was like, girl, it's okay to cry. Just yeah. cry. <laughs> I'm, pretty, I'm pretty. I'm positive she's going to. She has not seen her family in years. Like COVID, when COVID happened, we were supposed to go, and then that happened, and they shut down those borders, and that was it. You know. Yeah. So it's really we've been working so fucking hard to get to this point, and we already got the tickets, and now we just gotta get to December. Hell yeah. That's Heck, it. Sick. Yeah. But that's exciting. My mom's outside of like so much much less cool here. now. <laughs> no, you know, this is dope as fuck. You got to go do shit. You yeah. all up and do what is working. But uh <laughs> away from real life shit, let's get into the real good fake shit. The nitty like gritty. Anime. Oh, so I'm gonna start Imagine. off with uh Chainsaw Man. Now Chainsaw Man Whoa. for 2022, this has been a hyped up anime from the get go. In about one day, it got over 13 million fucking views on YouTube for a trailer. A trailer alone. Wow. The trailer itself got so popular that many different visual artists on YouTube kept making like uh, CGI for the panels, like some of the most popular panels from the manga. I don't want to say them because Fabian's watching it and this <laughs> shit's going to pop off. So I'm not going to say those panels. You just have to watch. Yeah. But. The reason I think it's such a big deal for an anime to get that popular, I'm talking about this shit was skyrocketing above movies and shit coming out. It's just fucking crazy. Like this, this uh, the creator of it, Sasuke so, Fujimoto. This dude. How did you um, not remember that name? Yeah, this <laughs> artist, he's so crazy. He's legitimately crazy. If you go on YouTube and type in his name and say and put levitating, you will find a video of this man really showing people that he tried to le levitate. He's like. I am going to levitate right now. And I shit you not. <laughs> he fucking okay, just jumps up. And fucking, board. of course, he <laughs> falls to the ground. But he's so serious. It's like, it's an old video, too. He's like, I'm going to attempt to levitate. And just <laughs> plop. This is the man that made Chainsaw Man. Okay? Like, <laughs> he, and he role plays as the characters on Twitter. In fact, uh, he just got banned from Twitter because he changed oh age God. to act like one of the characters. No bullshit. Uh, this is normal for him. He's yeah. going to be back. He's not no permaban. They just... banned him for changing his age? Dude, I feel it's something inappropriate, probably, considering content. Yeah, he does, they'll do that. Hey, That's them. It's weird. He's going to be back on. He's not permaban. It's just the weird shit he does. Yeah. But anyways, <laughs> this anime has lived up to the hype, in my opinion. It starts off so fucking violent. You feel bad for this guy. Everyone's been low in life. You've had a low point. You've been broke or something. Man, oh, I didn't get to eat for this day. This man is living that every day. Dude sold one of his nuts. Sold his fucking eye. Yeah. Has a pet dog with a chainsaw that he has to feed bread to because that's oh his gosh. buddy. But only wants to Dude, touch some boobies, though, man. His main motivation boobies. is boobs. Y'all think I'm playing. Every, every hero it. has some majestic-ass fucking noble shit. Yes, I want to be the greatest hero. No, Dingy. Dingy is not about that. He's like, <laughs> not at all. He's like that's stupid. I want to touch her tits. <laughs> and that's legitimate. This dude goes Hambo Rambo with some chainsaws <laughs> for that moment. And it happens. You get to see it and it's fucking beautiful. It's like every other <laughs> scene you see him, like a girl walks in, the panel switches to their chest. And he's just like staring. It's gory fan service. Gory a fan friend of ours said it was funny. He was it's like, oh, it's so hilarious. Really but he was talking about it. And so he put on like the first episode and I was like, what the fuck is this? It wasn't was like, funny at the start. No, no I was like, was I'm this, not watching this shit. The part that he was was funny was the second episode <laughs> like, go. where Power just smashes <laughs> the out. thing with her fucking hammer. Oh, yeah. The yeah, she hammer. was great. She fucking just splattered. What's that, that one person. scene, Perkins? He's like fighting that guy and he's like, when I fight men, I go for the nuts. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yo, straight up. This is street brawl. He kicks his dude oh, multiple that, times. I hated that balls. guy until that fight. And I yeah. liked them both because he multiple. Beat the shit out he's of on the him. floor. He's like, You are lying. You really do just go for the nuts. Well, he's a fight, bro. Like, he's a man's man. He was like, This is a street fight. I'm going for the weakness. And that was funny. balls. But <laughs> let me step back from the What action. is that on? Because it sounds really funny. Crunchy roll, bro. Crunchy roll, crunchy yeah. roll. Okay. Yes. Okay. Now we're going to get into some other shit. Love is War. Mm. That new Love season came war. out. And they finished. And I will not say how it finished. Oh, they finished it? It finished. Yeah, they got one more like thing. Like the whole the, series? Or? The series is done except for the final. I believe it was like part, a movie. Part two final kind of. It's like a oh, movie fuck you, Attack what on Titan. It shows what happens after they leave school. Oh, okay. God. You I, get, you get liked it. that conclusion <laughs> you've been waiting for. You get it. And it's good. And this I don't want to ruin it. <laughs> just, just look at my fingers, though. You get to see Justin. this moment right here. Just... Wiener's touching? <laughs> <laughs> Kissing! <laughs> 
We are kissing. I like Perkins' innocent like. <laughs> you, you ruined it with Wieners. Like, Don't no you dare do that to Love is War. Kaguya doesn't deserve that shit. Today's loser, Finger Perkins. <laughs> <laughs> for me, it's one of the rom-coms that stood out this year. Like, it's been going on for a couple years now. And it's just beautifully done. It's wholesome. Funny, wholesome. It's, and it's just everyone had a crush that you couldn't tell shit to or you were real nervous about. And they just build that up throughout every season. And they did really well with that. And I loved it. And then the final one I'll talk about that I think did really good is another rom-com, My Dress Up Darling. Now, let me stop you there. Nobody was doing it. Uh, well, y'all are, I feel like I'm going to get judged. You get judged regardless. That's fair. My dress up darling is what it sounds like. It's Perkins playing with dolls. No. Okay. Well, there is a guy that works that's, on Hina dolls. That's what it sounds that like. That is fucking crazy. You guessed that. But, <laughs> but yes, it focuses thought. on a guy that is a Hina doll creator. You know, those little glass porcelain white looking dolls. Uh-huh. They're kind of creepy if you really think about it, but it takes the art because you got to hand paint them. And all you don't that. really have to think to about have it. They're just creepy. Yeah, they are creepy. Uh, I'm scared of dolls. So. I'd rather not think They're about like it. They're like little tiny I like ones. They're like porcelain yeah. faces. Yeah. yeah, I used to have some. Porcelain dolls. I don't know where the fuck I got them from. It's, but. <laughs> you know, like a, it's a Japanese thing. Do you thing. still have yeah, them? Yeah, okay, like they had like the clothes on. Like they were like sewn together. I used to get like, porcelain dolls for Christmas all the time. Uh, oh, really? I was like, why are you Why are you giving me porcelain dolls? But it was Danny that was actually it, giving them to you, though. Sorry. No. Nope. It focuses on a cosplay. I don't fuck with dolls. Like, it's one of the few anime I can think of. In fact, it might be the only one I can think of that actually has any type of focus on cosplay. And when it came out, a lot of people got into it. Like, I like to think I'm pretty damn manly. But when it comes to a rom-com like that, I was... Damn, man, is that how they stitched that skirt? Wow, bro. I, I had no Perkins is about balance. Now, I've, I've come to learn over the years that Perkins' taste is so soft sometimes <laughs> that and then he shares like death metal that he's working out to and then after that he goes home he showers and he watches a good rom-com to really kind of wind down <laughs> but it's beautiful it's just fucking amazing like you would not like i've made my own costumes before and it really puts emphasis on how hard it can be like especially if you don't have a lot of money yeah like there's a difference if you have a good amount of money and no talent you could pay somebody mm-hmm. done with talent for real. <laughs> now, if you have no money and just a, a little tiny bit of talent, you know, you can make something Dude. that's kind of shit. I got to say, I, like, <laughs> oh, my God, this one year, I really thought I could be Daredevil last minute. Then you the pictures you are up blind. there. They're online, but. <laughs> We're going to find them for this. <laughs> <laughs> it was terrible, but I did like, it. It Facebook? looked good, but, you know, it didn't look good. I DIY'd. Um... Is that the one you came to our party? Because you have good, the like, didn't look good. <laughs> you have the helmet, right? Good God, I can't believe myself. I think maybe pictures <laughs> to come soon. I DIY'd. Oh, who's the guy that says "God damn" in Rick and Morty? Oh, uh, oh. noob noob. Noob yeah. noob. It was so bad, but it, it was, was pretty funny. Everyone was like, "Who?" This are guy you? gets it. That's because <laughs> yeah, that's because it was such a random, random side character. character. Yeah. Like. I, I don't, love Noob Noob. It would yeah. have been more recognizable if I could have like been the shape of him. But yeah, I had a weird like, shape. Was head. one making it? Like, it, it was, was, I was like, all right. I just Honestly, it was guys. it was pretty good. Yeah. Like as far as like a <laughs> DIY, but <laughs> Noob Noob is bad. like an obscure character. Right. Like you you don't you can go <laughs> you to have, anyone. Like, a pink cape and a white shirt. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like a I'll bandana. Have to find, like, like, face. Very very random character in the series of Rick and Morty. But like nobody that watches that show is like, oh man, you know who my favorite character is? Noob Noob. Yeah. Like, I, have, yeah. I have his Funko Pop. I love no, that No, yeah. yeah. There's a few people out there that do know Noob Noob, but like, not typically someone that you think of when you think of yeah. Rick and Morty. Yeah. That's why I like that anime because like, it's a struggle creating your own costume. Like, people yeah. are self-conscious about this shit. Like, you make it, you're like, oh, this looks good. And then you like, go out and you're wearing it and you get like, a little nervous. Like when I made a, I made a Nosuke and I made a Zora from Black Clover. I had fucked up with Zora from Black Clover because I was in the manga and in my mind I was like, oh yeah, everyone knows who this is. I show up to the convention and people are looking like, that's no. Black Clover, but who is that? And I'm like, oh fuck, the anime isn't caught up. So I'm over there. Uh, I'm you're, a, I go oh, out there you're and do a whole. Get over here, fucking I know he's ruined it. Yeah, yeah, goddamn walking spoiler. <laughs> I did because I went out there and I was like. I'll fucking kill all the Royal Magic Knights and did it because oh, no. like Royal Knights. And some people are like, Zora, Zora. And other people are like, that's fucking Black Clover. Wait a damn minute. That's not out yet. And I was like, oh no. 
Oh, no. Oh, it's oh, not you, spoiler. <laughs> but, like, shit like that. That's why I love that one. That's like, out of my top, I'll take that one. And uh, that's all I got. I had some other ones, but yeah, I'm good with those. Good with that. <laughs> all right. All right. Done. Good selection. What about y'all? I, I think my list is kind of short, honestly. Because I, I, can, I can think of like maybe three or so. Starting off, it, it's kind of like nostalgic, too. I was able to recently, it's like a little moment for me. I've been trying really hard to get this one comic book just really cheap because the market is just insane right now. Last week, you could have got this book for 40 bucks, but you know, there's a little spec on it now, so $200. And it's yeah. like, damn, like I just saw that book like last week. Yeah. You know? Damn. So I've been hunting for this book for maybe like three solid years just because personally, I had went to this comic book guy maybe like four years ago or five years ago and he was just like oh i see you're picking up a uh, century you know uh, <laughs> i'm not gonna say who it is and i was like yeah i love this character you know i'm just expressing to him and he's like yeah but you know he's never gonna make it he's they're, they're not gonna continue his stuff like he's just shitting on him right yeah. i'm just like fuck you <laughs> like, he's my favorite character right now like do you even know this guy so come to find out you know it's century number one that i just found and I got it for 50 bucks, which is incredible at that price. Perfect condition. And I was able to find it like in the wilderness. In the wilderness. And that's just my way of You're shitting on, on that hike. guy, you know? In the wild. It's so. a wild hunt. You've never gone on the wild plains of Comic Tonia to find a comic book for cheap. You, you're, you <laughs> shut up. Let sorry. him have his moment. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Continue. There's no hype for that, but that was my personal gain right there. That was, that was like, oh, that's, that's great. But. Obviously, I've had other moments like, man, I just remember telling these guys personally how important Sandman was to me. And being able to get that this year, like, I just didn't think I was going to see that in my lifetime. And a season two is announced. Hell yes. I really enjoyed season one. I yeah. liked it a lot. So, so excited. You know, I got the comics here, guys. Whenever y'all want to read them. He wants to let all of you read them, so he'll mail you his personal copy. <laughs> all right, all right. Hold on, hold on. Hold up. <laughs> But, you know, on top of that, I was able to see My Chemical Romance this year. And, that's, God, that was my awesome. first time ever yeah. seeing them. I went with my sister. We grew up together on that. Like, the first time we ever heard them. Well, I think the story behind that's cool, too. You bought these tickets and it got canceled and you had to Yeah. Wait. So, like, well, before I get there. But, <laughs> uh, like, my first time ever hearing them, my mom was working in Antakaria. And she just happened to pick up Three Cheers. Yeah. And that was the first song I heard. And then they started blasting it on MTV. I'm like, holy shit, mom. Like, this is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so coming back to, like, I bought these tickets, like, maybe two years ago, three years ago almost. And yeah. I COVID happened. So straight from there, every single band was like, we're not performing anymore. Like, we're going to wait for this to die down. We'll figure it out afterwards. Mm -hmm. And I just had no, I was, I was in the dark. I thought I lost those tickets. I was hitting Ticketmaster <laughs> up, like no refund. That was 800 bucks, you know? Yeah. Damn. And so I'm just like, well, fuck, I guess I'm not going to get that money back. And, you know, they're going to be performing pretty soon. So maybe they'll do something. Sure enough, like maybe a month before the show, I get an email and they're like, Here's like, my Chemical Romance tickets. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> They've just That'd been be awesome, holding them. Like, yeah. They're just like, we'll give it to you when we feel Exactly. Like it. They never <laughs> actually gave it to me. Yeah. They were just holding it for the longest yeah. time. Wow. What the fuck? And like, maybe a week before, I was like, you know what? I'm going to claim it now. Yeah. Because <laughs> they made me wait so long, yeah. you know? Well, and, it's cool that, that that money didn't just go away. And the yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Like, yeah. I feel like they kind of did you a favor because you probably would have taken that $800, spent it on something you didn't care about. Exactly. And instead they held it and they're like, no, you're going to want this. Yeah, yeah. Every single time I went to go check like my little uh, library of tickets that I bought before, it would never pop up. Yeah. And I'm like, it's Crazy. gone. That's it's stressful. gone. I'm never going to see it again. And so when I tried actually accepting these tickets, they were like, what tickets? <gasps> oh, no. So, no way. <laughs> yeah, literally like maybe two days, three days before the show. And I'm like, fuck, fuck, fuck. I already told my sister, like, I told her we're going. You know, <laughs> I got the hypes up and stuff. So. Say we're going to the parking lot. You never said you were going again. <laughs> <laughs> it was a quick process, though. I was able to reach somebody. I talked to somebody on the phone. They're like, 
Yeah, usually when this happens, like it takes us a while. So I don't know. I can't promise you that you're going to get your tickets. I'm like, fuck. Next morning, the guy was like, here's your tickets. <laughs> <laughs> so it all worked That's out. That's stressful, yeah. but awesome that you got to like make it to the actual concert. Yeah. yeah. Rather than Finally. that, like my last one, honestly, it's just, it's been a great year for comics, uh, especially oh, wow. selling them. This is like the first <laughs> year I've actually sold my comic books. So. I had a lot of people like that were willing to buy that were I came across a ton of clients so I'm just happy to be getting out there more and I'm definitely going to be selling a lot more I got like a page that I'm making go to all the comic it, book so, stores yeah. coming up. Oh yeah, yeah, we're going everywhere. We're gonna go ahead and just put that out there, so we have to do it now. And we're obligated. <laughs> Soon we're going. To oh comic yeah, book stores. yeah. It's part of my daily life, guys. But yeah, okay. it was it was a good year for that, and uh, I made some good money. So awesome. That's yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, and that's why we asked you to make us breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking we breakfast don't too. Have money. <laughs> How about you guys? Um. So first off. Did you guys, because we were talking about, like, celebrity deaths and everything earlier. So, technically, Betty White died this December year? 31st of 2021. Oh. Oh. But that all went into the beginning of the year. Sure, so, then yeah. I was thinking about, like, how wild this year has been. Because think about how January started. Like, it started off with Betty White dying. Like, yeah, we woke the up The whole to country that. Yeah. trying to, like... Woke go to war <laughs> like, yeah there's so much wild ass shit that happened went from that to like forest fires and the, stuff. yeah forest fires. that was this year was <laughs> yeah weird. i think there was like, like a bunch of fires actually it's every year, it's every year. <laughs> but, normal i mean it went from that to just people being wild as shit like we talked about kanye earlier about what shit that he's going through right now and that's pretty fucking wild um this is on your top five no because it's like kind of just like what's going on because i was trying year in review yeah i'm reviewing the year god damn okay (laughs) follow the structure yeah um but But, I mean, there's, like, stuff like that. It's gone from, like, uh, Will Smith and, like, slapping, you know, oh Chris Rock God. on the Oscars. Oh, like, which, I mean, again, it's both of these things have had, like, year. beautiful memes. So I'm here for the memes. Like, he just Will, Smith, Will Smith got canceled, and then he, like, slowly started, like, he, like kind of canceled dipping his toe in the water. Yeah. Yeah. He, he, he hasn't been doing nothing lately. Really, yeah. really, like, well, he, like, get, so. he backed out of the academy and just kind of, like, took a step away. His woman doesn't even help But I feel like part of what didn't just get get him completely canceled is that instead of people being like what the fuck why did you do that people were like y'all mental health is real like check on your friends thing. like are they okay because <laughs> i'm like poor chris rock <laughs> i was like maybe he'll make you, more money now well, he, uh, maybe, he, he made his money like good, yeah. his tours like were selling out yeah. tours, so though, like no, I, yeah exactly. like, I get that he came out on top financially but yeah. Yeah. he got slapped by another man live on tv and had to take it like like a true he adult handled he handled it like i don't think pro. i've seen anything that's been like god damn you just let him hit you like a lot of stuff has been like no man like like, was, I think it was people understood. Like, yeah, what, what were you but supposed to do? But if it was me, I yeah. was gonna get smashed. It yeah. <laughs> Hold up, <laughs> smack yeah. me. Can yeah. Perkins yeah. please host? I would have been like, nah, 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 <laughs> nah, nah, nah. nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> Any normal person would have <laughs> responded. Oh, yeah. Back, yeah, yeah. But, so uh, there's Big just been style. so many things that have happened. Like, I mean, obviously, like those aren't like the biggest i mean britney spears like got yes, you know like back. free she was yeah, yeah freedom right. 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 yeah, yeah. so i'm like she's out here like living her best life conservatorship yeah, yeah. <laughs> juxtaposition <laughs> <laughs> Conservatory? No, that's um, the there's are. so many things that are happening like so many bands are like getting back together and releasing new music i feel like we've me and justin have talked about it because there's been a lot, like, even with, like, the uh, When We Were Young tour, like, there's so many, like, bands that are coming back as far Blink as, like, Blink-182 released a new song. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Blink-182 is back. Apparently it's, System yeah. of a Down is going to start touring again, possibly. Dude. Yeah, what's yes. the name of that one I uh, again? I can't remember, remember but I Vegas is effectively, they're like, if you want to tour for a certain genre of music, yeah. let's just do it because of When We Were Young. Like, now there's one with, like, a lot of, 
Like sister, it's, it's like a new metal, new metal, yeah, new metal, new metal, yeah. Uh, festival. There's been just so many things that are coming back, even like remakes of movies. You know, we had like Hocus Pocus two, mm-hmm. um, you know, that's come back after what, like thirty years or something like that. I like, would say been, 2022 like, is al- like is like almost like the the year, the year yeah. of nostalgia. They brought yeah. back Talk about uh, a problem though with all this. Map, what, what is that oh. shit? Top Gun. No? Yeah, Top Gun oh, came yeah, back. Is music. I am so fucking tired of old songs being resampled and turned into new. Oh, that is a big thing. Thing right now, like it's yeah. a huge. We've thing. heard like, like five songs. <laughs> it is pissing last, like, me off so, so bad. Yeah, I don't know why that's a thing right now, but remix. Right. <laughs> but that, that's that's really it though. It's a very nostalgic year. Like, yeah, if you so liked it previously, chances are you can find brand new versions of it now. Mm-hmm. Yep. So I was like, that's just like the year as it is, and I mean, I feel like more specifically, just some stuff that's sticking out. Like, obviously, I'm always trying to talk about Marvel, so all the Marvel shits just mm-hmm. like been beautiful i'm loving it movies tv shows i know a lot of it we kind of went into expecting a lot more than what we got but i feel like that was just us being greedy (laughs) yeah (laughs) like we definitely wanted more like especially like um like multiverse of madness like i kept saying like dude multiverse of madness is when shit's fucking popping off and clearly like shit went down but it wasn't what we expected to go down so um i guess because i don't have a background and like a background knowledge of marvel I'm like amazed by everything that they do. <laughs> but it all yeah. genuinely is like you, that's the right way to look at it because yeah. it all is great in its own right. It's, mm-hmm. and I think I've kind of touched on it before. We've had this build up with Endgame and infinity war that us as fans of the MCU still haven't learned to wind back down to zero and let it get back to 10. Mm-hmm. We've just stayed on 10 and we want everything to be epic. Yeah. yeah. But those movies are the, the movies that are coming out now, in my opinion, are leaps and bounds better than the first round of MCU solo movies like Iron Man and those like minus Love and Thunder because that movie is hot fucking Trash. garbage for me. <laughs> for me. I loved it. I liked it. <laughs> 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 so, uh, now, now you, I'm Danny going five Alex. to one. All right. I'm going. Oh, oh yours are annoying. Yeah. I'm going five to one. I'm not going one to five. Can't judge. You can't start with the best one. That was what were you? No, thinking? mine were all equal. They were yeah, all just, just like as all important the, to me. Don't I have even to be ended it with no, saying there has to be I a even ended least it with worst. saying that I think it Pokemon was like order. my I was most scared. favorite. Like I really feel like that, but I couldn't you, rank mine. You judge your own moments. How you all right, judge all right. Yeah. So number <laughs> five moments. moment would be Black Adam. I thought it was like. It was cool to see DC finally doing something. DC got a dub. It only took them yeah. 15 years to do it, but they got a <laughs> decent movie. Yeah. Uh, what? Yeah, they, they, they got a decent movie. Finally. I was going to say, because uh, Black Adam, yeah, but I also feel like the Batman wasn't bad, y'all. The Batman was good oh, as wow. fuck. Oh, wow. I yeah. Like, so I just but feel I'm, like maybe this is the year DC is finally not, starting to get the movie. That's not part. Of, listen, if we're talking but about that is in not the last part, 15 years. Wonder Woman. It's not part of like. Not it's not part of the DCU. I know everybody hates that. Oh, it's completely. I wasn't even gonna say Batman anything. Batman is not part of it oh, okay. because it's not yeah, part of their like work. extended universe. No, I wanted to argue with you about Wonder oh, Woman no. not being good either. No, but <laughs> Wonder Woman, the first one, is undeniably an amazing movie. But how many movies have they made? And like out of all the movies they made, like eighty percent are trash. No, yeah. I what I'm just I saying, agree. like She's it's not the first one in the last good. fifteen years. I didn't say. What are you talking about? You said <laughs> I said that they finally made a decent movie in the last in this saying, year. Wonder did Wonder Woman? Woman did that come out this year? You said in the last fifteen years. You did say in the last. We'll be back years. after. It, this well, message. whatever. <laughs> it took What's that no. I said it took play? them fifteen years to make this movie. Uh, the you Rock. Didn't say that though. You but that's it. what I'm talking about. The Rock was casted it. for this movie for fifteen years. And it took them 15 years to come out with this movie. That's fucking wild. I didn't know like, that shit. It took them 15 years to make a decent movie. Man. They, I mean, it shouldn't take that long. This one is legitimately <laughs> It took the MCU building. 10 years. Yeah. It took the MCU 10 years to make like Endgame. 30 movies. Yeah. Granted, James like, Cameron. <laughs> I'm just so glad that they brought the JSA. I, can, I know I can't shut up about it, but He's I'm like just the so, so glad. the person I've ever heard that's like, man, the JSA. <laughs> That's right. Well, Everybody I did go. Like, I did go back and watch what? like the animated series, and they yeah. Yeah. they're they're in it a lot too. What's the JSA? Oh, wait, no, no, no. You got, got this. I don't know what it stands for, but I know who it's the yeah. group that they were the forming. Justice okay. Society. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, it was it it's was it was a better. fun movie. It was a fun movie. Yeah, it's like, got world building implications yeah. for DC, which yeah, is exactly, super which I, rare. Because yeah. when you watch one of their movies, you're like, all right, that was that was okay for that. Yeah. But 
these are like finally like another movie could come out after this and tie into this and is we perfect. got Henry Cavill back yeah and yeah they could literally bring in like who's their answer to Hulk Solomon Grundy maybe like you got so many characters who could just That's a huge difference between characters well so. yeah I was gonna say I mean, I if you're about talking that. about Solomon Grundy and Hulk I mean like they have answers now. I would say like apocalypse who's their answer Hulk. to Doctor Strange Doctor Fate yeah. yeah undeniably he'd yeah. wreck yeah. his ass but really yeah bad. like you know they have their answers now rather than putting in one movie solos of like introductions that we just never get to see like yeah. the the you know grand gathering of it yeah that payout Fate would be strange right. Fate. Oh. oh no strange oh, strange, strange. Fate. doctor fate would definitely destroy strange you what? think so definitely you guys know what I'm talking okay, about. Okay, okay. You know what? So we'll we'll, we'll know debate this later. Cause that's, I'm like, what? But I'm like, I, I'm, that was just number you're the comic five. Guy. Yeah. <laughs> um, but my number four is uh, Welcome to Wrexham, which was oh, a, yeah. a show on FX about um, Ryan Reynolds and Rob McElhaney buying a soccer team in Wrexham. Yeah. And oh. it's, it's, a, it's not like a. a like it's not a fiction thing. Like they actually did this. Like they they came together. They bought a soccer team that was like on the downslope. Like they were probably gonna like have to like disband disband the, the team. Uh, the stadium was trash. Like a, a lot. Everything about this team was just like shit. And then they bought it. And then they also had to buy because the the team didn't own the stadium. So they had to buy the team. And then they had to buy the stadium. And then like after that, like they started. On top of that, the team had to be good. So, like, they started, like, paying players and, like, paying coaches and, like, you know, making this team. I think they're, like, a division away from being in the, like, main soccer league, which I don't know. I don't know shit about soccer. I don't like soccer that much. It's so boring to watch. But, like, this show has so much it has so it's much like heart. Baseball. Yeah, 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 it's just boring. Well, no, I could probably do soccer over baseball. But, like... <laughs> We're getting controversial in this episode. <laughs> Hot fucking takes right now. Yeah. <laughs> but in mind he's Mexican. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but the the show has so much heart, and like in be, in between like all the shit that's happening with the soccer team and stuff like that, they have an episode that's literally about Rob and Ryan's bromance mm-hmm. that has come out of this because they hadn't met each other before buying the team, so they like knew each other through social media and like would get on phone or like. FaceTime or whatever and then like they met in person finally after the fact that they bought the team together and were meeting to like start like promoting and stuff they have an episode about bromances and like how like sports bring guys together and stuff like that I don't know there's there's so much like heart in this show even it's a real show because like you see this like city who you know supports this team so much like some of these people have lived in this small town for like their entire lives so like there's like a 90 year old dude that's like I've been to every single game since I was a kid it's like Cleveland Brown fans yeah <laughs> I don't know these these are they're a little bit more like well, soccer hooligans are fucking they, crazy, yeah I was gonna man. say they're like but also can we dedicated. talk about how much money you just have to have to be able to be like you know what <laughs> yeah. fuck it let me just buy this random team with some random <clears throat> person that well, I've never met before and let's just hope that shit works out well yeah. so Rob, it was Rob's idea I only knew you for a year and we had a kid together. I feel like there's more financial. <laughs> That's <involved>. true. <laughs> but wow. also Rob was like. Hot takes. <laughs> <laughs> Rob was like, I need someone who has cell phone money. I need someone who has alcohol money. I ha- I need someone who has movie money. <laughs> he's like, I just have TV money. Like, right. <laughs> so like uh, He's like, I need someone with that star power. My next. Robert my next. Jr. My number three of the year. You to walk me down the is. Aisle is nope i, I was thinking of because nope. nope nope was dope as fuck nope, nope was, dope. was dope it was the Good. dopest nope to ever dope yeah. we didn't even get to watch <laughs> it nope. like i can't have to watch it for real what? okay yeah. anyways, like, i'm actually kind of sad I'm, about it i won't go too much into it but like so as good. far as like horror movies and just those type of movies that have more than one meaning mm-hmm. kind of it was i mean i do love jordan that. peele just doesn't miss he, yeah or he hasn't, hasn't he hasn't missed i think a lot of people were complaining about it because it went over their heads. Yeah. Like they, I was talking to a coworker about it the other day and I was like, Nope was so good. And she was like, well, do you know what the hell it was about? <laughs> Cause she watched it and she Some like, able to get smarter. She was like, I mean, it was like cool, I guess, but she didn't understand like yeah. what Damn. the, the deeper was. Meaning. Yeah. I was like, yeah, uh, I, I had to Google it, but <laughs> what? I just, I want to see that man's toilet. 
Because I bet he doesn't miss. <laughs> this, Spotless. Say he shits gold, Get but <laughs> this works, dude. So much toilet oh, humor. <laughs> but yeah, I won't go too much into it because I mean they haven't seen it. My next one, I'm not going to talk about too much because I know we want to talk about it for a little bit uh, towards the end of this episode. But it's Black Panther. Ooh. Um, and then my number one was When We Were Young Fest, which was just like a crazy, crazy experience. I'm so happy it was real, guys, and y'all got to go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I awesome. I kept waiting every day leading up to it, thinking at some point you guys are going to be like, these motherfuckers aren't even out here. <laughs> it's really fire <laughs> no, the thing is, The thing is, I never had a doubt that it was going to be a real concert. Like, the people that were like, how are you going to fit this many bands in one concert? Like, clearly never have been never to been festival. to, like, festivals. Yeah. They had revolving stages on the two that weren't the main stages. Mm -hmm. And the people that were on the main stage, they had crews, like... All set up. Uh, all, yeah. Like, setting yeah, up. Like so one forth. would play on this side while this one is setting up. And so, like, it was just back to back to back to back. And there was, like, mm -hmm. almost, like, no changeover times. It was just constant, constant music. Yeah. But the festival itself was like incredible, like right. just the like atmosphere, like being there, like hearing all these bands that like I grew up listening to. Mm -hmm. My Chemical Romance was incredible. Yes. Amazing way to end the night. Yeah. Like there was the, a whole ass fireworks show yeah, at the end of the night. It, it was awesome. it was yeah. funny because My Chemical Romance dressed up like how <laughs> they dressed in that. Gerard. Yeah. They dressed up as old people. <laughs> Hollywood that gray prosthetics crazy. of them looking old. But I didn't realize that at first. I noticed the guitar player yeah. looking a little little aged up, and I was like, "Damn, that dude did not age well." <laughs> I was like, "He's." I was like, "I don't remember him being that much older than the rest of the band." Like he just like, yeah, like what the fuck happened? He needs to drink some <laughs> some orange juice or something. Cause god damn, like he looks old. Ironically, <laughs> <a> secret to <laughs> you. <laughs> I just man, they're probably gonna sound the same when they're that old. Honestly, honestly, That's amazing. and then and, oh my god, he sounded amazing. Yeah, and he was he was also acting like a senile old man yeah. the whole time which is like, like in between songs between <laughs> he was songs. like eh, well, well, what's up utah like yeah. <laughs> it was so funny it was it like was. and like everyone was like this guy's on drugs it was funny because uh, i kept seeing oh, people say so like annoying. every other like vocalist was on drugs or something because they were acting weird but like most artists that get to that level are performers yeah, and just act fun. weird and yeah. have fun on stage i act weird all the time and mm -hmm. i'm Typically not on drugs, you know, like typically. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> yeah, I got are. into it on Facebook with someone about this. Not really get into it. I just responded to their comment, but they were like saying he was on drugs. They're like clearly he was on something, and I was like, not every like not all creative behavior or like interesting behavior is caused by drugs. Like some people are just really creative. Yeah. And he come they like are. the dude created comic books and shit. Yeah. Like yeah. why not for these guys too at this yeah. point? If yeah. you wanted to have fun and act like old people, just fucking why do the it. fuck not? And they yeah. paid and they, they had to show. pay money because it was like Hollywood grade prosthetics. Yeah. yeah. They looked old. Yeah. It was Limp he kind of yeah. looked like that Palpatine. He, he looked like Palpatine. Yeah. yeah. Limp Biscuit did that same thing. Yeah, yeah, oh, exactly. Yeah. He was uh, Fred Durst looking like an old man. I think and... it's because he was had a song called like Dad Bod or something like that. Yeah, their out. album was like that one was something a about more, sucking or it um, wasn't as good. I don't think because it was just like you it was can more tell realistic, it. Was realistic because I literally was like, geez, he should not age. Yeah, because well. he had like yeah. gray hair and he was yeah. wearing like trucker glasses and like yeah. an old sport yeah. coat. But like they had prosthetics. Yeah, like, they look like they're in their like. I'm gonna have to go look it up. I didn't know that. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I was um, like, are they wearing? Like, but yeah, we originally had the tickets for Saturday, which did get mm. canceled because mm. um, the wind was crazy. We saw pictures afterwards. It was like, nuts. It looked crazy. It was. It looked like there was fog in the air. Yeah. And it was just dust, straight dust everywhere, and it was God. blowing so hard. We um, like planned to walk to like do other stuff. And it was just like so fucking windy and like dirt Dust, was getting in our mouth. Mouth and, like, and eyes and stuff. So were you guys pretty much like holed up that day? Like within no, your casino? No, we just Ubered or? everywhere. <laughs> oh, that makes yeah, sense. Just, Forgot you could still drive places. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, like, we just Ubered or taxi. We're, we're trying to save money. So yeah. we're like, well, that walk's not that far and we'll get to see all these other things on yeah. the way over. You guys got to watch Ka too. Yes. Oh Ka was insane. I wanted I was, to see so, that show so bad. I was yeah. stressed out. Like <laughs> You guys messaged about it and just was like, oh my God. Oh, like fucking flipping out! I yeah, like, I, I mean the no whole trip was. Idea what any of you guys are talking about right now? Yeah, the whole so the whole trip was amazing. Like we yeah. saw Ka, we got we saw the Beatles show, which might have been the last, last time we time got to see that perhaps. show. That's my favorite um, Cirque du Soleil show. That was yeah. like our third time seeing it, awesome. and we got really good seats. Um, yeah, because we bought it a long time ago. Whenever we were like 
rich because <laughs> of my financial aid refunds. Yeah. Our but, tour is going to be when we weren't poor. Yeah. <laughs> and then, but yeah, so the when we found out that they canceled it. Uh, oh my God. We had, I was like, we were in bed about to get ready to go to the festival. Like our, our window, we can see the entrance of the yeah. festival. And there were so many people there. I was like, oh my God, we got to leave soon. And uh, then I looked at my phone and I was, I was like, is this real? There's no way this is real. And then like, it I was, was like, from, give me that. yeah, I was like, am I dyslexic and dumb? Like read this. <laughs> and then we looked and made sure it was like from the real page and stuff like that. And sure enough, it got canceled. And right like, about as soon as we yeah. like, we're like, this is real. Like people started yelling, yelling. From the, like outside our window. They were yeah. like, yelling at the gate. Like, was I was weird. wondering what the atmosphere around it was, was weird. Wild. Yeah, it was weird. It was wild, but it was also like kind of cool the way that like other bands a few of the bands handled it they really had like cool. pop-up shows for the people who couldn't make it to like to uh, sunday to get that day. like hawthorne Met, heights hawthorne heights were the first ones hawthorne and heights um and all american rejects jump, they were and red jumpsuit and red jumpsuit Those yeah three had a pop-up show at the stratosphere well That's all american cool. rejects was at a barbecue place oh okay okay yeah. but their show was like at night hawthorne heights and uh red jumpsuit apparatus took over the stratosphere yeah. there's they they had so many people show up that they had to stop letting people in that didn't that's have a true. key to, to like the stress. Yeah. yeah. We that's were I'm... thinking about going just so that we could like have more time the next yeah. day. Cause we did end up getting tickets. That, which that day. itself was like that was stressful. Like, it, it felt like almost that first day when the tickets went on sale and we're like, did you get in? The did codes went up. Yeah. yeah, like, yeah we, you literally. know, we were trying to like scramble to get tickets and we bought them individually. Yeah, it was such a risk. I was um, so scared. Yeah, like we went to like StubHub and we would just two. like refresh, refresh, refresh. We couldn't get any and, for two, but we could buy individual ones. And then the prices, because it got canceled, like the prices kept Damn. going up and yes. up and up and up. Every time we refreshed it, it was more It was more expensive. More. <laughs> yeah. And we would try to like complete a purchase and it would get sold from under us and we we're like, it was very stressful but once we got the tickets we were like we could read diffuse, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, like, I was like i don't just, do anything for me yeah it was it was stressful yeah, it was like it's so cool that they're like refunding that money back yeah for, like, the people who's yeah. Perkins, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> perkins I was, like, also had it when we were young yeah, yeah. i was yeah. gonna say because we we talked about going the same time like everybody was buying their tickets but like my whole brain was like don't do it and so i was like Oh my God, we can't get these tickets. We can't do it. He's like, Are you sure I can push the button right and now? Just realistically, like, we can't do if it. we were like, in Vegas, we would have been the people that wouldn't have gone. They, yeah, our we whole just trip would have been, like, been Damn, wasted. We, get my hair for yeah. we didn't have no extra money to buy more tickets. Yeah. yeah. We got, yeah, we got, got we got very lucky. I was, exhaust, I, I was exhausted probably for a week after that concert, <laughs> yeah. but it was 1000% worth it. Oh like, I would, I would do it all over again. Yeah. That's also my top five. Is that your last? That, yeah, that's my last stuff in the top five. Yeah. yeah. Alex, what do you got? So when we were young yeah. was obviously going that, to be. That's in my top five. Too. So you got four yeah. more options. And if they're not in order from best to worst. Well, I'm going to expand a little more on when we were young because cause this is my top five. Yeah, it's yours. <laughs> so I, want, I have space too. Um, but I, when I describe this to people, I always use the analogy of like church camp like i don't know if y'all ever went to church camp but when i was younger i'm a I, heathen yeah i loved the lord for a really long time and uh christianity was my entire personality but i would come back from church camp feeling alive and like life had purpose and like i was riding this high for like the longest time and like that's how i feel after it yeah when we were young like i literally it felt unreal like it was unreal because it was just like magical it was so magical like i cried during the avril lavigne set <laughs> i did not anticipate crying. crying during avril lavigne <laughs> and it wasn't even a sad song it was like uh, it was it her was first song I yeah think. nostalgia yeah. punches like, you in the heart yeah, it is. I, was gonna say, I feel like i've cried boy. like live shows before and it's less about like the music being like sad or it's just like all the energy from like all the people in the room and just like it's more of like a happy cry because then you're yeah not, like your body just naturally releases yep. it, which is also God, why man, why, why is this happening <laughs> yeah i was like scream singing at the top of my lungs <laughs> and like was choking up because it was like i'm like i'm in therapy right now for trauma but i am thinking a lot about like little alex you know what i mean so I think the reason it was so emotional for me was because Avril Lavigne was one of those people I actually listened to when I was little yeah. because I didn't really know much about this scene until I was like a teenager. I knew a little bit about the scene. Mm -hmm. So it was nostalgic, but 
not as nostalgic as I think Avril Lavigne was because she I would hear her on the radio. So it was like, man, like little Alex could never dream that she'd like be here right now. When we were but, young's namesake yeah. lived up to its name. It literally did. Yeah. It really did. <laughs> even, I think that's why I was so emotional. Even when Paramore started, like oh my God, yeah. that was. It was all just like magical. It was perfect. It was yeah. like the perfect concert. It was the perfect day. So that would definitely be one of my top ones. Backstreet Boys. Oh, yeah. I forgot we did that this Backstreet year. Backstreet Boys hell? was magical. <laughs> and I, yeah, I like literally loved Backstreet Boys so much that I um, was like trying really hard to figure out how to see them again. She wanted to go to Oklahoma and yeah. I was like, I remember we're talking, about, yeah. we're talking about that at I a was concert. Like, <laughs> if we do this, then maybe we can do this. I was like, I can request off and pull up. And Danny was like, we saw that. <laughs> we keep doing that too. I was like, but they were so. <laughs> and the tickets that we would have gotten in Oklahoma would not have been worth it. No, yeah. That's not honestly what talked me out of it because I looked for seats from that section, like pictures from that section. And yeah. I was like, we're not even really going to be able to see them. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. I guess not, whatever. But that's definitely one of my top five. That was like really cool because we had bought tickets for like the lawn area at the... Um, H-E-B. No, it's not H-E-B. Uh, it used to be called the 360 Amphitheater. The grammar. Yes. The, the Changed to like Grammarly. Grammarcy grammar or Grammarly. Something like Germania that, yeah. or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever the hell yeah. next the to the Austin. racetrack. That yeah. big one, yeah. We got lawn seats, and then my friend hooked us up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we got really good seats. Another one would be, I was just like looking for shows that came out this year, and I thought one that would be interesting to like just highlight was The Girl from Plainview. Did y'all ever watch that? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I think I heard of it, but I never watched it. It's a true crime show based on a real story. You've probably heard this story. Um, A guy completed suicide because his girlfriend basically talked him into it. Oh, wow. Like, on time. Yeah. Yeah. So, the whole thing was, like, is that murder? Like, what like, I mean, is she gonna Charles get any Manson consequence got in for trouble it? and never murdered anybody, she talked to but also, he, she, he talked people into murder, but also, yeah, he true. was already yeah. suicidal before he was uh, suicidal. So how do you prove that? But she, yeah. yeah, what ended up happening was they they recovered a shit ton of text conversations where, um. She was like giving him ideas for what to do, and she'd be like, "Are you gonna do it today? What you never follow through? Like, you know what I mean? Like, he's like, yeah. I don't know. Like, I'm worried about like what my family's gonna feel if I die." And she'd be like, Holy "Yeah, shit. I knew you weren't going to do it. You know, shit like that." And then they confiscated her phone, so they found texts with other people where there was one text she told one of her friends like he got out of the car and called her. And, like, they talked for, like, 45 minutes or something. And she told him to get back in the car. Like, so the way he, he killed himself was he put, like, a generator inside his truck and, like, gassed himself. Gassed yeah. himself, basically. Oh, God, he yeah. got out and was basically like, well, I'm, like, not feeling well. I don't know. But she story. talked him getting she back into the vehicle. She told him to get vehicle. back into the that's vehicle. Murder. Yeah, that, that's Yeah, that's what murder. it was. <laughs> so, like, basically the ruling was, like, the stuff she said leading up to that, it's fucked up, but doesn't really because she didn't, like, constitute for murder do like, but until yeah. she's actively like hey get back in this yeah. car that's when going she to told kill him to get back in the car that was what they were able to convict her on did Good. she oh, she okay. actually got out this year or yeah she, she did got out. Okay. yeah she didn't serve actually much yeah time. she did she did get out this year yeah mm-hmm. she didn't serve much time at all. oh really mm-hmm. yeah is this year she didn't serve much time at all so but that that series was so crazy to watch because I mean, obviously, they take some creative freedom because it's like a show. It's a, sh- a TV show, so they do take. There are real freedom. documentaries about it. Yeah, everywhere. Plenty, plenty. What was it yeah. called again? The Girl from Plainview. Thank you. I think that's on um, Hulu. Okay. They have a uh, Dakota Fanning's sister. I can't remember her name. I'm so sorry to her. She looks Ellie? a sure lot. Tired. Ellie Fanning. Yeah, or, yeah, yeah. She she's looks a lot girl. like. <coughs> they the yeah, real they girl, make her like, look yeah. like oh. her really. Yeah. yeah, and they also have. Did y'all ever watch Dear Evan Hansen the movie? Nobody did. Okay. No. I, I mean, I, <laughs> I know the movie though because okay, that that yeah. one was another like he was like getting sympathy for a, having attempted or something. Or? So, no. Dear Evan Hansen is about well, like a web of lies and... that this kid accidentally gets into. Right. But there was a a boy who also killed himself, and it was kind of around that story. But he played the guy who killed himself in that. Movie. That's the same guy from Pitch Perfect. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Magician. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Well, but he's not. It's not him that's in the girl from Plainview. No, but he's the Evan he's Hansen. In a, he's right? Evan yeah, Hansen. Yeah. yeah, he's Evan Hansen. But that was one of my talks because it was just so interesting. It is a wild story. And it's such a wild story. And the fact that it's a true story. 
Um, next on my top five is Hocus Pocus 2. Hey. I still good. haven't watched it no, yet. I've, I've never, never watched it. It's not because so I don't good. want to. It's yeah, just I just I haven't. It. Yeah. It was so cool because we got like a bunch of girls together and like we were just like witchy You mean vibes. witches? Yep. <laughs> Period. Bunch of witches um, together. We we're doing <laughs> witch shit. <laughs> We like we literally stuffed our face with cookies. Yeah, we had like <laughs> hocus pocus you. slash just spooky themed um like snacks and stuff. Like I don't know, it was really cool. And then we like watched it. We all finally sat down to watch it, and it started. We were like, yeah, like we're all so hype. It was so exciting. They're like awesome. cheering. Everybody cried together. Yeah, Everybody we did. We all together. cried. Like, it was really cool. It was, it and was we threw axes. Wait, that was a fun ass. That was evening. fun. Yeah, we threw yeah. axes. We did man shit, like drink beer and throw axes. Nice. <laughs> Simultaneously, which sounds super dangerous, but yeah. it wasn't. <laughs> After I left, I went to go catch up with you, and they were talking about dick jokes and like that's all man it was shit. Man like, shit. Like, yeah. man and shit. i showed up and i was like this is completely opposite of like yeah what our well, we was, literally were just <laughs> our night everybody was like how's your health like are you yeah we're okay? like your mental, like, health. mental health i cared about yeah. his health i bought him a shot like, yeah everybody was like so like just talking he had a about mouthful of nuts like, and like, money. Yeah. Yeah. they're like what about your dick bro and i was like what the hell like I feel like a bonfire going. Yeah. Such a vibe. I feel like you need to quit paying attention to our moments and enjoy yeah. your own. <laughs> <laughs> um, and my final of the top five, oh. Black Panther for sure. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's that. something that didn't make Ooh. your list, and I'm surprised you didn't. What play. were you gonna say? <coughs> what, what what? That you didn't mention Taylor Swift. Oh, that was on my list. Yeah, Taylor Swift had a whole I album was like, top ten. Can I was we talk about a fucking massive oh, the album. Was? No, no, no. I was Honestly, waiting for her to like, like talk about the tour on, and everything. Well, that's like upcoming, right? The tour's next year, and I'm yeah. super fucking excited. I will get tickets. Even if I have to sell my body, Chainsaw I don't care. <laughs> so there, but. there's a story I heard about Taylor Swift tour and tickets. It was actually kind of sad, but it's been fixed since. Uh, <laughs> so our tour was announced, and this hotel that was like, I, I guess, super close in proximity to a, where she was going to perform, called a lady who had an entire wedding party booked there and canceled her reservation. Apparently, this is happening. Said like, oh, "Hey, nice, sorry, actually. we aren't going to honor your reservation." What? Because they knew that they could resell all those rooms for Taylor Swift's concert wow. at an outrageously inflated Idiots. rate. Right. So she went back and forth with them a lot. And they finally did honor it. They're like, oh, it's a mistake. We didn't mean to do that. When at first yeah, they sure were absolutely was a like, oh, well, yeah. we never actually signed the contract. We just told you verbally we'd honor it. Mm -hmm. But that's a bad, that's not trying to didn't say Taylor Swift anything too yeah, positive. Yeah, it's just the hotel. It just, that just, yeah, it was that's super shitty. Yeah. I, I'm actually really excited for her, though. I'm not a big Taylor Swift fan, but to see her top 10 front to bottom literally was pretty cool. Like, she's killing it. Which, I'm so, like, amazed by that because I really think, and this is maybe, like, slightly controversial for my Swifties, sorry. But, <laughs> like, I think the reason she was top 10... <clears throat> top to bottom was because of cloud <gasps> no this album is beautiful it's but it's not top easy 10 to listen worthy, to think? there's nothing special about okay. it like i will listen it was, to it over and over i think it was just hype bound like the hype why. just well built. yeah i think that her fan base is like a little like psycho like to be honest <laughs> well there was a whole thing and i'm pretty sure you just so, thought about it yeah. with the lead singer from avenge <laughs> sevenfold have you heard about that uh -uh. they're coming out with new music and so apparently their label was saying like, hey, we should like release stuff this way. Like a uh, like, vinyl get, like, with a this. Like a special like, yeah, like you get like an extra song on here or mm -hmm. release this and you get a t-shirt like to release it like multiple different ways with different like incentives so that way they could sell more. Yeah. And I guess like the, the CD, lead singer the vinyl, like, made, the... like tweeted and was like, look, we're not doing that. Like that's like basically saying that that's kind of a shit way to like, that it's like abuse. It's bleeding like, fans. It's, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's abusive to yeah. your fans. He was like, we're not doing that. Like we just want to put our music out basically and mm -hmm. hope our fans enjoy it. Well, a bunch of people apparently thought that Swifties. he was coming for Taylor Swift and oh, he was yeah. like, what the fuck are you guys talking about? And he never once about, name like, dropped anyone and even said, he was yeah. like, we were talking about our record label and trying to bleed you guys. That, he had to like, come yeah. back and explain Jeez. like, that's like, where that that's started. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my said, God. He had to like, come Crazy. back and say like, look, this is what our label wants us to do. Like, this has nothing to do with Taylor Swift. Like, we don't, basically yeah. like, they don't care. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, we're happy for her. Like, she's doing her thing. Yeah. Like, congratulations. But, 
Like <laughs> I, I love Taylor Swift. Yeah. I think she's a wordsmith. Obviously, not all of her music is like clever. Like some of her songs are just like catchy. some of them are just fun or like, you know, it off. yeah. But like when I think about writing lyrics for songs, I think about her. Like I'm like, how can I make it poetic the way she does? Because she's so poetic. She like paints a picture with her words. Gotcha. She's really good at it. And she creates, she, someone said like, I don't know, it was a tweet or something like you, you kind of have to respect Taylor Swift, her hustle, her hustle. Cause yeah. she's been putting out, she like never stops putting out music, like constantly putting out music since she came on the scene. Like since she was a tiny child, like she was like putting out music. Well, and she's evolved with her musical taste exactly. too. It's like, mm-hmm. I wanted to do this for a little bit. I want to yeah. do this. And I'm, I'm not a Taylor a Swift yeah. fan, I guess by any stretch, but I also have zero hate for her. I don't right. think she has bad music. It's just. What was that, that Taylor? Sw- what it. was that shrine of Taylor Swift that you had in your? I thought you said you were going to tell anybody. Oh my bad. I, I thought I thought we were. Where? <laughs> I was confused. Another I thought shrine. you were a fan. I, I did actually when I worked at Michael's. Got <laughs> to frame some shrine. really cool art from Red. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I have too many shrines at home. <laughs> <laughs> too many. But yeah. You said Black Panther was in your top five. Yes, that... Black Panther is. Oh man. Is a segue to what we're about to yeah. about would, would y'all to say do. Wait, a good Black Panther would be like it. a top five of y'all's? Oh, oh for sure. Oh my year. god, yeah. yeah, I think so. It was. I think it was, so. I, I think a small part of it also is because it did just happen. <laughs> yeah, it is super fresh. So it's like, true. It went from Very being fresh. like in, in like the anticipation for it went from zero to a hundred really fast. Yeah, like the yeah. first half of the year, it was like. Yeah, we heard Black Panther 2 is coming out. How are they going to do it? We speculated. So you can curious, go, yeah, yeah, you can go to our old episodes and we talked about what yeah. we thought was going to happen. And then it went from that to, holy shit, this is real with a trailer. And then Rihanna's song. And <sighs> the, the build from that from the, the San Diego Comic-Con, mm-hmm. from there on forward, if it wasn't Black Panther, it didn't matter as much to me, honestly. I'm actually really surprised I gave Black Adam as much love as I did, considering yeah. that... Less than a month later, I got to have Black Panther. And I think what I'd like to do right now is just say goodbye to everybody who hasn't watched Black Panther. Oh, yeah. yeah, Uh, yeah. We will be back February 1st. We're going to end it right here, though, for you if you don't want spoilers, because we are about to spoil the shit out of this movie. Yeah. All right. If you haven't left yet. It's on you. Yeah. yeah. Now all the nerds that haven't been to the movie theater are gone. We're going to talk about Black <laughs> Panther and how absolutely uh, just it. Wait a minute. Hold up. Oh, boy. When I asked if it was on everyone's top five mm-hmm. this year, Perkins didn't, didn't say, say anything. It. it wasn't on my he top five. Okay. No? As far as okay. Marvel movie. I, okay. I loved it. Okay. I, I told y'all yesterday I yeah. enjoyed it. Yeah. I just have other favorite movies. From yeah. Marvel. Okay. All right. Fair. Fair. All right. That's so, it. I, I I got excited and told you about that song that happened underwater. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah that was yeah. fucking beautiful. God, I posted. I love that you messaged and were like, "Okay, back to the movie. all the underwater, <laughs> all the underwater stuff freaked me out." It was, <laughs> oh my god, I just imagine being under there and I'm like, "Oh my god, let me go somewhere else." <laughs> yeah, so there I was like, oh, <laughs> "I'm just surviving right yeah. now." Yeah. And he it was, was like, "Oh my god, the most uncomfortable <laughs> moments of my life." Really, I enjoy yeah. being underwater. I, I, I have I have this like water. weird fear of being underwater like that. Oh. that freaks me the fuck out. He's like, like scared that not you know, knowing what's around you. Plus, come and eat him I was starting yeah. trying to like imagine like living under there and the people that are there. Imagine always having shit trying to just float away from you and how inconvenient that is. <laughs> you're talking to somebody and you're constantly having to like, hang on, come here. They're coming back. <laughs> Did you see them playing like, like that that one sport underwater? Yeah, that, really yeah, cool. that, that looked like cool. uh, that looked like uh, Atlantis. Final Fantasy. 10. I was gonna say, oh yeah. my god, I got uh, like I was thinking, I was thinking the road to Elder. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. I was like, I think it really. Uh, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Well, hold up, there was one before Final. Fantasy. That should look <laughs> yeah. like that because that's what that was. I'm, yeah, I'm pretty that's exactly sure. what it yeah. was. Yeah. Um, I think one thing that to talk about is just like the lead up to. Black Panther, because obviously, like you said, we all talked a lot about like what their plans were, what they were going to do. They slowly started releasing the trailers and like each trailer, you got a little bit more of like what was going to happen. So you kind of basically had an idea of like why, like what they were doing for Black Panther, Mm -hmm. which I think the way they did it was very well because they didn't actually just make somebody Black Panther. They It would have been super easy to do that. Yeah. And they decided to 
kind of in a sense like gifted to all of them to step up to fight for their country and like protect to, their country, yeah to yeah. protect their people yeah. and to fight and, and like it wasn't just put on one person to be responsible for that oh, yeah. which well, and I like was great how they did that Shuri it's herself like kind of rejected the idea of Black Panther mm -hmm. it wasn't needed it died with my brother yeah and to be entirely honest when you look at like how she did as Black Panther at least contained in this movie I'm pretty sure she'll get if maybe controversial redemption as Black Panther later. She wasn't a great Black Panther. She was very selfish. It was all about vengeance. Don't get me wrong. She was hurting. She was mourning. I get yeah. why she felt the way she did. But her as Black Panther, she was very Killmonger esque, which mm. made a lot of sense considering he was there. Which I is also great. Yeah. Which is well. So well, she will be replaced. I mean, you know, T'Challa is new. Yeah, his name is T'Challa. God damn it. Damn yeah. T'Challa. Yeah. Damn. At, at the end, you see M'Baku, yeah. and he comes up, yeah. and he's just like, I'm here to challenge. Like, I don't think anybody's going to challenge him. So, technically, he's... Is he, he going to just king? get that place? Oh, I, I feel like maybe they had a conversation, and she's like, I don't yeah, want this anyway. Exactly. Yeah, so, I, I think that she she is. She's not going to be king of Wakanda or then, queen of yeah. Wakanda. She's not that... She doesn't want to be that. There was, a, want, yeah. there was, like, a rumor a while back where people were con constantly talking about, like, what the movie was going to lead into and stuff. And I think it's going to tie into, like, this three Black Panther thing, which, you know, you got Shuri. I don't think she's going to let go of that armor no. or anything. And then you got M'Baku and, of course, Azuri, which is, you know, T'Challa's son. That, that's his. Yeah. Oh, that's so, so I was so good until that moment. She's crying. The Rihanna song's oh God, playing. That was hard. And you keep a secret. At that moment, I knew it. I was like, that's his fucking son. He's going to be named T'Challa. And yeah. he said, oh, broke my heart. I cried. It broke me because... I think I constantly said it when we would talk about it yep. is that T'Challa's story isn't done and it's, it's, it's lame that they were going to just, yeah, it was like lame that they were just going to like take T'Challa away and be like, all right, his story's gone. But they still like gave us a, a T'Challa and it was like, oh my God. Well, because at the very <laughs> end of it, nobody ever said he was the T'Challa that they were going to use. And that's kind of yeah. cool. It was like. He is one, but he's not the one that we're going to focus on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think Shuri was cool. She was. She was the great. Black Panther was cool, but I actually fell in love with Namor. Oh, yeah. Yo, God. As an antagonist, oh gosh, man. I was like, no, bro. I see exactly why you're doing uh, this. I, I was in there like, yeah, go fuck them up, man. Yeah. <laughs> do what you do with your wings and water and <laughs> with other cool shit. I completely understand that he had to protect his people. Yeah. 100%. Dude, I, I, after the movie, I immediately went to favor. I was like, dude, okay, so tell me this. I was like, is he? how strong is he really? Name more strong And he as kicked fuck. their ass. And he just gave me all the details that made me like him even more. I was really curious about the raw vi uh, vibranium. Because yeah. he stabbed the ship. Bitch blew up. I'm like, oh, fuck. What's yeah. going on? Like, he was a badass antagonist, but he had his reasons. Mm -hmm. like, he was a very, sense. like, it was hard to, like, not side with him almost. Yeah. Like, he, you were almost, like, on his side. Because he's not evil. He doesn't no. have any evil intentions. His he intentions really just, are morally right. Yeah, he just, the execution was people. fucking awful. Well, Carter yeah. was in the wrong for this, actually. In that movie, I was thinking, I was like, how is Carter kind of fucking wrong for what you are? Do look. Shuri, did she not go with on her own? She did, like, from that she point on, I felt here. like no, she was extremely selfish with how she decided yeah. to go about things. And she mm -hmm. was trying to keep, she was trying to save uh, Ironheart, right? That's her Riri, yeah. Riri, Riri, Ironheart, Riri. Mm -hmm. But yeah, the one of the Wakandans is the one that killed somebody from his, of his people. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what started. He hadn't killed them. He killed the shit out of normal people, not <laughs> Wakandans. Like they got everyone else got fucked up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they weren't ready, but. <laughs> when the Wakandans killed one of his people. Yeah. And that set it off to me. I was like, y'all kind of yeah. fucked up. I wasn't ready for the mom to die. When that happened, I was, I was about like, to I was say, like, like, I knew it was coming, though. Like, I was like, you were fucking out of line. You, yeah. you kind of challenged this, man. He told you point blank, I will kill you. He, he can't, man of his word, I respect it. He <laughs> wasn't expecting him to drown an old lady, but it happened. Dude, yeah. I want to take him out to be like, dear Angela Bass. I could understand where you're coming <laughs> Thank from. You. Like, they, he killed, or they killed one of them first. But the response to that was super fucking extreme. It went from, you killed a single person that was guarding somebody we were holding captive mm -hmm. to... I'm going to drown children and babies so, and kill your queen. But he, they already put warned. Like, he let them know. Like, look. I'm he, not he did warned. already, not, like, warn them. them know, I'm not bro. saying it wasn't warned. I'm just saying, though, that... It, it was an extreme. extreme. It's a yeah. very extreme. He was, very like, extreme he, he was a he, bad guy. My for favorite period. response to that is when he says... Imperious Rex, and I'm like, holy shit! Yeah. What he does that said mean? It. He he says that in the comics, but okay. the thing is, nobody really understands what it means. 
which is funny. Uh, I think one like Thor confronts him one time after they get done fighting. He's like, dude, what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> and he's just, you know, it's basically his way of just saying like, I'm the emperor king. Like, like, yeah, we, you're like, not going to detest me. Like, this is my way. <laughs> like, he, this he, is the he's old like reverse fashion Aquaman. way of like, yeah. you know, yeah, he was, he's, he's an emperor. He's going to yeah. protect essentially his saying, kingdom. Like, like yeah. I have no, match. he's yeah, essentially he was, saying he, he really has was. no in between. Like, he, exactly. he gave you your warning. That was the like here, mm -hmm. and then if you tested it, he's just gonna go straight to a hundred. Like there's nothing in multiple between. Multiple times, like he's a god. Like he's a god to his people. Like his people worship yeah. him. Like he. He did say numerous times he went fucking around. Yeah, like he is there to make sure that like him and his people like continue to keep living. That they, you know, he's that he doesn't give a shit about anybody else or anything else. Yeah. And so. Where a part of it's like, no, I 100%, like, you're riding hard for, like, your family. Like, that's what you're doing. Yeah. But he also was like, look, either you're on my side and you're going to help me. He was like, or fuck all of you guys. Like, I will destroy literally, it, like, the whole surface world. I will destroy everything that's on this planet mm -hmm. to make sure that it we was, stay alive. It was Killmonger, but a god version, essentially. Because yeah. where yeah. Killmonger was like, I'm going to take this technology and I'm going to burn the world. Yeah. It was... I already have this technology and I'm stronger than you. They started yeah. And I'm going to burn end, the world. Bro. Like, when they were surrounded on the ship, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I was like, because I always get asked, like, could they really kick their ass in the car? Because they look, they, I thought they were winning. I thought Wakanda were winning. And they were surrounded. I was like, y'all are getting fucked up. I forgot the water people could heal for some weird <laughs> yeah. reason. Yeah. Yeah. They were going down. I was like, y'all about to die. They wouldn't have gotten cried. together. At that point, like, really the whole time, I was like stressed out because it was like, this guy is clearly more powerful. He has more bodies, mm. and like the people he has on his are side are like fuck. fucking mutants. How yeah. many <laughs> like, times did you think one of them were gonna die? Like I many, always, many, I was many so moments. The whole time. At that point, I was like, "There is no good outcome for Wakanda." Like I did not think anything good was gonna come of it. Yeah. And whenever that fight finally, she was like yield, and they like showed up, and then he was like retreat basically i literally cried because i was so relieved i was I, like oh my god on to like oh the next part <laughs> i feel like you know i'm really glad how they did the film i don't really have the comic side in me is like oh they should have had a little bit more easter eggs but still i love i it, love that was love. i think a big thing it was like there wasn't yeah. a lot of like other name drops other than like but julia dreyfus dude, coming yeah back. i would be so glad yeah, that's what i wanted you know obviously <laughs> everyone wanted to yeah and I, I kind of saw towards the end, this is like an Easter egg that I was just looking at. Because, you know, I thought the villain was going to be Atuma from the back. So did I. And Atuma being one of Namor's arch nemesis, he already has like Namora on his side. Yeah. So at the end when Namora goes up to um, Namor and she's just like, I would have fought the with fuck you. What was that? Well, like, see, why'd you kneel? It, that makes sense going back to talking about him saying he would do anything for his people. Yeah. He would live for his people. Like, he would continue mm -hmm. to understand that they needed to be protected. Yeah. So that's why he yielded. That's why he decided to make them an ally. And I will tell... I want to I mean, point he was going to lose. Yeah. yeah. They were not all mutants. Only... Only he was. Namor is a mutant. Yeah. yeah. What were and the people... They're just... They, they have so, been biologically changed yeah, by that. They're they, just a different race of human at this point. They Namor is a mutant. They explained that not be a mutant. Yeah. Well, they explained that they're... Bodies like obviously were like altered, so like they. When me and Justin talked about it, we thought about it more of in a sense of like because they were changed, like their bodies, like that's like for them that was like they evolved, like they, yeah, they like yeah, that be kind of changed, yeah, like as like evolution. Or some shit. Yeah. So the okay. difference was he's a mutation that, of that kind of human. Yeah, though. he like he mentioned that you know like they like mutated and that the like they point out a lot of times they're like, well, hold on, why is it that he has wings and he can breathe and you know, like outside of the water, like he can do this. Like they pointed out all of those in the movie mm -hmm. yeah. to kind of separate the fact that he's not like, they're not also right. mutants like he is. It's like just he really spot on. Cause that, that is the first mutant and onto like that conversation they were talking about with him and Namora. I feel like they also alluded to something cause they were like, Namor, obviously he's a mastermind when it comes to this stuff. Mm -hmm. And he's like, there's going to be a time where they're going to need yeah. our help. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Like, you know, they do that so many times in the comics where they have to go to Namor 
and it's like Illuminati starts with shit. Namor and Wakanda and yeah, all of them. Right. Do they fight Doom in a comic together? Fuck. Yeah. I mean, Man. Secret Wars is definitely yeah, like, you're gonna get some some Doom fighting. So yes. I, I have a question, guys. So there was a part like whenever she is talking to him and he's explaining like why he kneels and everything, or yields, um, that there's like this mosaic in the background of them, and it's him fighting like oh. Black Panther. We're back on well, this. Yeah, because I brought it up and Justin's like, Nah, I think they just did that like category right like. To categorize the fact that they had that battle and it's i was like, like yeah but at the same time like that means they would have had to fight gone back and then when she's like asked questioning him they also were like hey about the she way put together a whole car thing. and her and country i told him i was like well she also <laughs> did manage to like you know kind of they fixed she thinks like, we it's don't alluding know exactly to another fight between them i think it's a documentation you know, i was gonna of their say battle. he was not surprised that they existed like he showed up mm-hmm. in wakanda like yo like we also exist. I know you have this shit too. You guys are the only ones about. So at that point, well, like, no, in the had he, they? He said he when he first walks out of the water, he's like, I've heard stories of this place. He's like, where the air is cleaner, where the techno. Like he oh, he yeah, mentions the right, fact that right, he right. just got there for the first but time. I but I was gonna left... say like, had there been something before? My in the past, heart like, wants to tell me like because no matter what Ryan Coogler is saying and everybody else, they're like, Doom was never part of this. Part of me is like, okay, like Namor. And Doctor Doom, they do end up working together. Do you to think get... this is one we'll appreciate later? Like, yeah. I was gonna say it could be. Like... I was gonna say so. Uh, Riri made the machine, right? Yeah. But she did it for a project. Who, Who got, it from, got them? it from them? You know, like it could have yeah, been the, the government. Sna- well, I think that's yeah. Dreyfus, though. Like, I, I think they're going to help use like the West Coast Avengers mm-hmm. and Thunderbolts. I, I, I feel strongly that. Maybe Doom is also helping them with that, and he's a sector of the government. And yeah, yeah, I could see that. I just want Fantastic Four so bad. It's coming, dude. It's well, we're almost there. So back to what you were talking yeah. about, Crystal. Danny and I had a conversation when we were leaving the movie, also, because I was like, "What the fuck was that about?" Like, there's like a weird vibe in that scene, and I didn't understand. I was like, "Was he lying when he said he was going to help Wakanda? Like, what was the point of that? Like, it seemed like really weird the vibe." And then Danny pointed out, like, what it meant was Wakanda's going to need their help whenever that evil bitch with the purple hair streak in her hand, <laughs> yeah, yeah. when they start coming for Wakanda. And that is going to be Namor's opportunity to then destroy the surface world because he's helping Wakanda. Yeah. But he's like, well, fuck every Like, this is my chance. Like, you know, I'm yeah. I'm helping my ally. I'm, I'm an ally, but I'm also I'm getting seeing what a, I want. Ultimately. Yeah, absolutely. I see a standalone Namor movie coming soon. Oh, yeah, where I see that. He I feel like getting I feel like a lot of people because he yielded to Wakanda and Optima finally takes oh. the throne. I want to see. <laughs> it's so bad. I want to see him steal Sue Storm <laughs> like damn! he did in the comics. <laughs> I'm sorry, Reed, but damn, you saw him, man. <laughs> you Got no saw chance. him. We all saw him. <laughs> we saw it. She's going to fold when she sees that six pack. Yeah, you rubber bitch. <laughs> hey, first of all, don't disrespect Reed Richards. <laughs> I, th- I think it was a great movie. Like yeah, it was, it was so a good, amazing. good, um, good way to like pay homage to Chadwick. Chadwick. It was such a heartfelt movie too yeah. in the yeah. beginning. Oh, the yeah. per- I've talked about it a million times. That purple Marvel with all of yeah. him in it, and then yeah. the very end with the moment of silence in the yeah. beginning. That, Everybody in that theater except one asshole that was <laughs> chewing on ice at the end understood. It. It's the quietest I've ever seen a movie theater. Like yeah, people were like holding their breaths because they didn't want everybody like, to that know. That moment they were of silence <laughs> in the beginning, like <laughs> there was like, no the music, yeah. there was nothing. It yeah. was. It was so cool. Images of Chadwick and yeah. it's just like remembering him. I like that they did the ugly Avengers music. So it was just, no, it was it was quiet. just a yes. moment of silence. Yeah. A moment God, to remember him. That was like, you could him. feel oh, her heart. Good. Oh, and God. It was I just, just love, love, love. Rather than the tone, I really loved how they set the tone. But mm-hmm. I just love the character growth with Shuri. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I still, I still just, think she has room to grow. Yeah, oh, uh, she but yeah. and I think but she was kind of yeah. I, mean, I think I think it was like she's in this weird situation where she just lost her whole family, mm-hmm. and like most people that lose people, like the heroes that lose something or someone, we they saw it have with Peter Parker. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. I mean, he has somebody like at first, like obviously in this universe, he had Aunt May kind of leaned on the other Peters. Mm-hmm. No, that sounds weird. I'm going to say it differently. <laughs> well, he leaned on other Peters. <laughs> you heard it live. He, he leaned on the other Spider-Man to like kind of help him through. And he had his friends as well. So like, yeah. I don't know where they're going to take that. But, oh, you, you mentioned know. MIT. They're all going to MIT. Doesn't... Um, Riri goes to Riri MIT. Goes there. I, so they've already... Oh. It's very like hush, hush right now. But 
Tom Holland signed a new contract. Yeah, yeah. yeah for They're sure. not going to say it officially, but he signed a new contract. Yeah. We have another Spider-Man trilogy on the way. I was so, going to say, I feel like I have a lot of, like, I have a big list of Spider-Man news, but I I don't know if we have enough time on this No, episode. that's yeah. going to have to be, have to be hot, like, yeah. The biggest next thing I've season. heard was that they said that there's no possibility of him appearing in a Disney Plus series, which kind of makes me sad. Yeah, because that, that means he won't be in the Daredevil. Daredevil. Yeah. Aww. But that's all that. We'll talk about that later. Yeah, we Black so Panther good. was amazing. Let's let yes. that just sit in your heart for yeah. a minute. Oh, it was so good. Mm. I liked that they brought Killmonger back. I did. Yeah. I did too. That was cool as shit. That felt like a comic scene. We were yeah. t- we were talking how like uh, I wonder if people thought that it was gonna be like a CGI yeah. Chadwick I, I moment. Did for a minute. I was like, like in my head, I was like, they could and easily. I'm so do glad that. they. But did like, not yeah, do so happy like, they we're didn't. glad that they didn't do it because because on top of that, you would have had to get somebody to do his voice that acting. That would have felt disingenuous. Which yeah. Yeah. I feel like weird. Yeah. Yeah. what they did was very tasteful. Yeah, yeah. Like, I think they, it was pretty cool too to like give um, Anthony B. Jordan. Michael, Michael, Michael B. Jordan. Jordan. Like, it's not Anthony. It's not Anthony. Oh, I didn't come. That's your brother. Yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> Michael B. Jordan like an opportunity to also be part of this project that was honoring because he had a yeah. big like he was the big was, like they were close too yeah. and yeah. it it almost felt like he was even playing Killmonger against his wishes because he knew he would say a bad thing about Chadwick because he was like yeah. your brother was too noble and right like he he almost felt like you knew he was acting because there was no way he felt that that yeah. line was real for him because right, yeah right, right. Uh, that. They, I think I, it was beautiful it was because good. of the fact that she lost her brother and then she loses her mom at this point. Like, her whole family is fucking gone. Like, well, she, she also lost her, lost her dad. She, yeah, yeah, I was yeah. like, you know, in her whole war. country. Like, they, like everybody <laughs> yeah, fled like, it. It had just gotten destroyed. Like, she right. literally there got broken down to her core. no way that she was going to drink the, you know, elixir or whatever herb. it is. And then be able to be like, all right, like, I'm just, yeah. like, I got to be here to be a there, There's no, yeah, she wasn't like, going to come out as a like, noble there superhero. No there just with great power into that other comes world. Great yeah, like, going that other realm without <laughs> being, like, super just broken and angry and, like, yeah. just Well, and that's when Namor said, or who was that broken people make the, the best hate. leaders. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah. He foreshadowed to the fact, like, you're going to lose it all. And, like, I've yeah. told you plenty, like, I also this like, is going to happen. I also like the fact that after she saw Killmonger in her vision that, Instead of taking the Black Panther's suit, she took and she took his colors, which kind of like symbolized her yeah, like her that. her her motives, her motives like, of vengeance yeah. versus yeah. like you know Being Black Panther is kind of I almost feel like Black Panther was more along the lines of like um, Captain America as far as like their their yeah. like uh, like a noble noble like, nobility and mystery, stuff like that yeah like, yeah, like like they edge, they like, knew <laughs> yeah they knew like, they knew yeah. what they needed to do and I mean she again just freshly like lost all her yeah, family she was raging right this there is something so, like, she never wanted yeah yeah she did and she, she never said wanted plenty like Black Panther's dead we don't yeah. have a protector anymore yeah. and like she didn't like the tradition like she yep. wasn't about the tradition yeah, it was so no, good it was, so it was good. like honestly I I feel perfection beginning to end like <laughs> so amazing they honored Chadwick. Beautifully, the storytelling was executed so awesome. Visually, the visuals were yeah, the incredible. visuals were so and good. All the, the underwater scene was great. Felt good, like yeah. all of, like Namor felt good. Mbaku yes. stole the fucking show, man. He I became, thought Mbaku yeah. was gonna die, like a dude. Mentor. I thought he was about to get yeah. killed. He really stepped up and became His, like, that brother esque role. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I just gotta say, if Ryan Coogler is behind Secret Wars, which that's been like a rumor, yeah. I'm I'm satisfied. Yeah, like, I think it's yeah. Really great. I feel like he's done a good job, and I know we we know it's not going to be the team behind Infinity War and Endgame. They've actively said they don't see themselves touching yeah, MCU Russo's. for another ten years. Mm-hmm. So Damn. they think they're going to come back, but it's not going to be anytime soon. Mm-hmm. I feel like it set the it tone for the future of the MCU, where it's going to be a very somber thing going forward. You're not going to get the overloaded of like Love and Thunder. Mm-hmm. You're going to still get comedic value, but it's they're going to tell the story. They're going to. Yeah. Marvel's going to Marvel, and I feel like that no matter what you want to say about it, and I think it's going to be great. I, I can't mm-hmm. fucking wait. I'm so, I'm so excited. Ant Man Quantumania yeah. is going to be like one of the yeah. first things we get to touch on when we come back yeah. in February. Yep. Oh. It's going to be good. I'm excited. I'm scared. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm scared. But that is, uh, that's going to be it for us here now. It's been a great year, great season. Yeah. Alex and Thank Fabian, you thank you guys for joining us this season. I can't wait to come back with you guys next season. <laughs> and, uh, you don't get a high five, Chris. Yeah, you stay out of there and high five. <laughs> For everybody else, check us out on social media, Nerd Social Hour. We're going to drop all the links if you're listening to be in the description. Until then, guys, enjoy. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. And uh, peace. See ya. Later.